Hello, my name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an invoice using a spreadsheet. I'll begin by navigating to the Invoices Work Area. You can use the Invoices Work Area to review recently entered invoices. I'll initiate the task, Create Invoice from Spreadsheet. I'll open the file to enter the invoice information. Now I'll connect to the application. I'll use the same credentials to sign in and connect to the application. All invoice entries are in a single table. The invoice header identifier indicates a unique invoice. If you have multiple lines on an invoice, maintain the same invoice header identifier. For subsequent lines, the header information will be grayed out and is not required to be entered. The fields with one asterisk are required. You can enter information directly in some fields, and in some fields you can pick from a list of values. Fields with two asterisks must have a value in at least one of the fields. In some cases, you can double-click in the row and search for values to enter. I'll finish entering this line, then I'll save the spreadsheet to make sure I've entered my information correctly. You can select your upload options. I'll accept the default. The row status indicates the information I have entered is correct and I'll proceed. I'll add two more lines to the invoice. Notice the grayed out field. This indicates my additional lines are associated to this invoice. I'll add the rest of the information for the next two lines. And now I'll save these lines. You can choose your upload options. I'll accept the default again. A successful save shows the row status as Row Inserted. I'll import the invoice into the application. I'll select the business unit. A request ID is given to verify in scheduled processes. I'll verify that the process ran successfully. Once the process has a status of successful, I'll return to payables to view the invoice. I'll select Manage Invoices to query up the invoice that I uploaded. I'll enter the appropriate supplier information to review the invoice. I'll review the line details of the invoice. All three lines appear that I've entered and imported from the spreadsheet. The invoice is ready to be validated and accounted. That's it. Thanks for watching.